This has been really relaxing. Very laid back. Very fun. Is that a mountain? I hope that's not a mountain. Like, do a proper barrel roll. Should I do a barrel roll? Barrel roll! Okay, which way is up? What have I done? <sighs> a nice and easy soft landing. Nice and easy. And get it first try. Nail it. Yeah, I know. Ooh, you distracted me, you dickhead. Hello, I'm Noodle and welcome back to Frontier. I have now learned how to fly these planes because I actually have a controller. It's so much easier. So, oh, and I also have enough money to buy a new airship thing. But first I want to show you guys like how much difference a controller actually makes in this game. So I'm just going to do a quick trade run first. So I just got to, what am I trading? Was it G-type batteries it said? Yeah, G-type batteries. It says at the top right there, Noodle. It says at the top right. But yeah, I've got a controller. And, my god, the controlling is so much easier. It's just such a huge difference. So, um, I also learned a few things about the interface. So, if you look on the right there, where it says about 400 right now, you see it's going blue, that means that I'm going up. And you'll see it, get dec you'll see it decrease, and then that means that I'm going down. It's gone red. So, that's the I use that quite a lot to kind of gauge my height. I know that it's... Uh, gives me a, a height from the ground there, but that's not entirely reliable. Oh, and I have to avoid that so I don't ruin my ship. But yeah, anyway, this is so much easier uh, with the controller, as you can as you can probably tell. Super simple. I don't want to go too high. I'd rather not go into the clouds. Uh, also, uh, where am I selling these G-Type batteries? Uh, I believe, I think I know where it is now that they buy them. It's a little bit past this place. It's across the water from the, the main base where we started. Like, even the wind is no problem at all. Oh, and by the way, the wind does really affect you the higher up you go. I've tried it out and... Yeah, it can really push you around quite badly. There we go. On the left there, you can see my, my thrust. Uh, if I hit it... If I keep it on that orange bit, that means that I'm... Oop. Well, actually, the thrust makes a difference when you uh, pull back as well, so never mind. But yeah, if I'm not moving forward or moving backwards, if I have the thrust about here, I shouldn't be going up or down. Or I should be going in the same moment, keeping the momentum that I'm keeping, so... Push the thrust up. There you go. I've also gotten a lot better at landing. I've uh, Explaining all that was terrible, but whatever. Just uh, go in for this landing, and I'll show you how soft these landings can be with a controller, once again. Yeah, provided I actually do it this time. Watch, watch it not bloody happen because I'm recording it on camera. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice and soft. Could have been better. I've done much better. But anyway, so much easier. And uh, now that I've already, now that I've learned how to actually control this ship really well, I'm gonna buy the other ship, and I'm gonna crash a ton. There we go. Fill up fully with the uh, with the charge. We'll head back to main base, to our hangar. And we'll, we'll buy the new ship. Oh, and weight, by the way, weight actually makes one hell of a difference in this game. Ooh, overturned, oversteered. There we go. Straight ahead. So yeah, I mean like, weight has made it really difficult to make the, like, the ship rise up again after it's going down. Unlike now, I've barely got any weight in the ship at all. It's extremely easy to keep it level, keep it going. Stop it from plummeting to the ground too hard like that. There, there you go. Much better, much easier. God, I love using a controller. Straight in. Perfect. Right, so let's buy our new ship. I'm well excited. There we go. Yay. Uh, what was the button again? Push Y to enter the hangar. Uh, oh crap, I pushed B. Damn it. Right, so, I can buy a ship. As you can see, I've got $33,000. This thing costs $28,000. Uh, I don't want to exchange it, I just want to buy it with Y. Okay, how do I swap to it? Do I actually have to sell the one that I've got? But I've upgraded it and stuff. But that's not fair. Ah, screw it. I'll, I'll, I'll exchange it. This one's probably better. Exchange your ship. Press it five times. There we go, we've got a new ship and the game just suddenly got much more laggy. 
Let's have a little look at this thing. It's a nice looking ship. Excellent, excellent purchase. Now you can get to... Oh, I didn't even read that. But I can probably get much further away. Not a bad looking ship. So, first trade. Uh, is there anything I can buy here? Oh. Can I not even... Can I not even trade here? Apparently I can't. So this ship would have to probably park in different locations. Or it would have to dock at different locations. Uh, dock, I don't even know the word. Land at different locations. Locations that actually have a runway. Now I'm pretty sure I read that it said Raglor Transit is where I can go. So uh, what are they buying here? And they're buying G-type batteries, advanced colonial B2 rations and water. Okay. So, can I really not... Oh no, I probably just have to reverse. There you go. Right. They have... There's bioradar and associated equipment. There we go, I bought the bioradar and etc. equipment. And I've got a charge level of 5,000. So I, I assume this plane is going to have very different handling. I, I assume. And it should have a different flight mode. I should check the controls to see what that controller is. Or what that... What button I push to change to a different flight mode. Purchase complete. Just going to have a quick look at this. No, that's the wrong button. Okay, so now that I... I think I figured that out. And that extends the wings. That looks nice. And then that makes me back into like a hover thing. Possibly. Uh, extend flaps. No. What was that button? I do that. And then, ah, I can extend flaps for landing. Or to slow down, even. Okay, so that's good. I've got different controls now. Things are going to be weird. And, oh, it takes a while for it to get up off the ground. Okay, oh, I didn't set a waypoint. Need to go in for a landing again. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, I already set the damn thing on fire. Really? Oh, damn it. Let's go repair this ship. Right back in the hangar. God damn. What am I doing? I'm really excited about flying this plane and I'm not getting a chance to because I keep wrecking shit. What's wrong with me? 184 credits to repair this one. Yeesh. So what's this improvement and how much money do I have? I've got 9,000. Uh, and this costs 8,000 to upgrade. Best wait until I've got some more money. Anyway, we've got lightweight engines, uh, power system protection, B guard production, and HC corp, whatever that is. And external bipolar routing batteries, just for better capacity. I don't know what that thing does. It's power systems thing, so it must have something to do with the charge or with the battery. But whatever, the, uh, the plane's fixed now. Almost. And there you go, done. Let's get out of the hangar. And actually set a waypoint so I know where I'm going. And, yeah. Go somewhere else. If, you, if anybody can hear me scratching, I've got a really itchy hand. I don't know why. I think it might be the controller. Alright, so. Uh, I bought bioradar and associated equipment. Where I want to go... Is somewhere that's... Yeah, you buy it for 7,000. I don't even know how much I bought it for. Oh, 20,000. Uh, I don't think... I, we might not be able to even make it that far, in all honesty. Hmm, oil rig. I think we might be able to make it to this oil rig. So we'll set this as the waypoint, and this is where we'll go. And up, up, and away. Oh, God. It's the, it's the bloody cargo I've got. It's making the weight of the plane extremely heavy. There you go, turn around. Uh, should I maybe get some height first before I get going? Oh, the charge goes down fast with this plane. There you go, what if I start going forward now? Get to a certain speed. Yeah, I'm going down instead of going up. Am I going fast enough to change now? Is this good? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. I need some more speed. There we go. Look at that. Nice. This is good. I don't think I have enough charge to make it. Yeah, no. I might not. I might have to stop off at uh, Raglor Transit first. There we go. 
That's more like it. Ah, oh, this is awesome. I'm loving this game. There we go. I'm about 11k or kilometers. I'm just going to say kilometers from now on. I'm about 11 or 10 kilometers away from my destination. And this is... This has been really relaxing. Very laid back. Very fun. Is that a mountain? I hope that's not a mountain. What is that? I see blackness. Okay, anyway. I think maybe it's time to change flight mode. To something a little less... Speedy. And I'll start slowing down soon. I should slow down automatically. There we go. I'm still going up. Should start going down soon. Maybe change my thrust mode. There you go. Start controlling it myself. And get see if I can like nail this landing. I've got 800 charge left. Oh, this is cutting it very close. I might need to just let the drip, the plane drop a bit. Have I got the charge to like? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've got this. I've got this. I'll just make loads of noises whilst I'm landing. This is my concentration noises. It's very windy here, isn't it? Ooh. There we go. I got this. Nice and easy soft landing. Nice and easy. And get it first try. Nail it. Yeah, I know. Ooh, you distracted me, you dickhead. Soft landing, soft landing, soft landing. <gasps> no way! I did that perfect! Oh, nice! Am I in it? I'm in it! Hell yeah! Let's, uh, let's charge our plane. That's the wrong button. Oh, it's got a runway. I could also, like, go for a landing if I wanted to. That's incredibly tempting, actually. Now, I'm wondering if there's di different upgrades at different hangars. Curious about that. Anyway. Let's buy all this. This is expensive. Oh, the charge is very expensive. This uh, this trip might not be worth it. I might need to go to the one that's buying this bio radar and associated equipment for twenty thousand. But first, but first, I want to check out this hangar and hangar and see if it's got anything different that I can buy. I right, take it easy, easy down the hill, easy down the hill. There we go. Nice and slowly does it. And uh, this time, w before we go to our destination, we'll go for an actual takeoff. There we go. Nice. In it goes. So yeah, the, I mean, the, like the next plane up is uh, it's a much heavier plane, I think, a much. Bulkier and harder to control, quite possibly. And this, it does have, a, it's got different upgrades. They're much, very expensive upgrades. That's nice. Better wings. Much better chassis. Oh, wow. So, like, in the game description itself, it does say that the ships have hundreds of upgrades, which is really interesting. Uh, let's repair the ship for now, whilst I'm here. I might as well. But yeah, it's got hundreds of upgrades, and you can really customize your ship to your liking, like if you've got the money to do it. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of playability in this game. There's a lot you can do. I, I, I can guess that a lot of people who are into this sort of game would probably sit there and play it for hours and hours and hours. Me, for example, I'll probably end up doing the exact same thing. Alright, so we're back out on the runway, and I did say to go there. Now, how far did we have to travel to get where we are? About that far, and then we're going about this far. I mean, that's still, still quite a distance. I don't. We might not even be able to make it any further than this, unless I just do more stops until I get to here, to the research platform E. I mean, that's quite a distance, man. Okay, I think I'll, I'll go here, and I'll just, I'll just sell it here. Oh, they're buying it for. 7,000. I can't even remember how much I bought it for. Anyway, we've got our destination. Turn our ship around. Nice and slowly does it. All the way to the back. Give yourself as much room as you possibly can. I think that'll do, won't it? Maybe try to line myself up a little bit more. Ooh, I've just went off a bit. 
There you go. Alright, change to that flight mode. And I believe I need to put those, uh, those flap things down. What was the button for that? That's the one. I believe that makes it easier to take off. Uh, I think they're, they're called landing flaps, aren't they? So, I don't know. But we'll go for this. Full force. Get the get, get, get speed going. There we go, nice and easy. And we, we're doing it. We've made it. Nice big jump. Nice big jump. Nice takeoff. Uh, D pad up, release the flaps. Turn around. Like, do a proper barrel roll. Should I do a barrel roll? Barrel roll! Okay, which way is up? What have I done? <sighs> I might have. I might end up crashing this damn plane. There you go. Anyway. This plane does not like turning. Ooh, breaking the sound barrier. Speed of 300 knots, kilometers per hour? I have no idea. There you go. We broke the sound barrier. We did it. And that sound is quite amazing, really. There we go. And I, I like the music that happens in the background whilst we're flying. It's really relaxing and laid back. Of course, my voice isn't relaxing and laid back, but, you know, you're not here to listen to music. You're here to watch me play a game. Alright, about 10k away. What is happening? What is that? Do I just, like, go into, like, a, another... Sound barrier breaking thing? I don't even know what it's called. Like Mac 1, Mac 2, and Mac 3? Or am I slowing down? It seems like I might be slowing down. There we go. Getting close. Oh, that's different when you do it like that. There we go. Slow down. Time to really slow down. There we go. Have I got it? Believe I might have it. Uh, I'm aligned the wrong way though. What have I done? Oh, I've pushed this button in by accident, so I was just hovering. There you go, down you go. Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy. Alright, gain some speed. Well, I say gain some speed. Increase thrust. You're going a bit too low. Come on. I've got it. I've got it. Now, uh, I think I'll go around in a, in a bit of a circle. I'm running out of charge again. So I'm glad I came to this place instead of actually trying to go for the one that's further away. There we go. Turn around. Nice and easy does it. I say that a lot when I'm concentrating. I also tend to go very quiet. I seem to have stopped moving. Why have I stopped moving? There we go. Come on, nail the landing. Yeah, I know I'm wasting a lot of charge doing this. I should be landing a little bit faster. <gasps> oh, I didn't realize I was that far away from the ground. Oh, there you go. Little bump, but I made it. There we go, and we will sell our cargo. Like so. Like so. Thank you. Where's my money? Huh? Where's my money, man? What, was I too late or something? I didn't get a lot of money there, did I? Well, anyway, I mean, that, that, was, that was good. That was really fun. I enjoyed that, and I'm really looking forward to getting the... the um, the bigger ship again uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see me do some more trade runs with this plane if not I'll just work my way up to the next plane in my own time uh, or you could just all just hit that like button as well you, you do that then I'll probably do another one of these here with just a few trade runs with this plane I'm quite intrigued about the places I can go so I want to explore a bit now if you guys want to see me do that then yeah let me know hit the like button subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Don't forget to join my Discord.